All right. So in problem 16, what they're asking us to do is they're asking us to prove that angle CDA is congruent to angle BAD. All right. Now, what we need to do is be able to determine, well, those are going to be corresponding angles. So let's go and determine where those are at. So C to D to A is congruent to B A D. Huh? No, number 16. It says proof CDA is congruent to angle B A D. Right? Did I label it wrong? No, it's CDA. Problem 16. Problem 16. OK, that's right. All right. Um, huh? OK. So let's look at these. And how are these going to be? You know, How can we prove that these are congruent? Now, um, there's a couple different ways we can uh, go ahead and look at this. All right. Um, and go and take a look at, a look at these. Now, one thing that I'm going to uh, do is let's look at a couple of things of our given statements. All right. So that's always the basic thing that we want to look at is what's going to be given. So in this case, we're going to be working on a two-column proof. So what we'll have is a statement and a reason. All right. The first thing that we see is what are a couple things that are given to us? Though so the red is what we're trying to prove. What's given to us is that uh, CA is parallel to uh, DB. And that's OK, because we're just talking about the line, so we can just say they're, you know, which ones are going to be parallel. And that's given to us. Okay? And it's OK. I could re you could lay them the other way as well. The other thing that we know is angle C is congruent to angle B. That's given to us. All right. Now, ladies and gentlemen, to prove um, that we have to prove that we have um, uh, congruent triangles, we need to be able to use one of our congruency statements. Remember, our congruency statements that we've used to prove congruency is side, 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 angle, side. Angle side angle, angle angle side, and HL. Right? So we need some way to be able to determine well what angles and what, you know, how can we relate these triangles to be congruent to each other? We already know that these two angles are equal to each other. We don't know the red angles are equal to each other. That's what we're trying to prove. Um, so we already have those done. Now I do see that they share this same side. Right? Both triangles share the side AD. Would everybody agree with that? So we can say that line AD is congruent to line DA, all right? because those is the reflexive property. Or what I commonly just call the same side. All right. So that is something that's not given to us that we created. So now we know we have an angle and a side. So right now, ladies and gentlemen, is there any way for us to prove that these two lines are congruent? We know they're parallel, but can we sh is there any way that we can show? Do you guys know any definition that we can show that they're equal to each other? I don't know of one. So guess what? Side, side, sides, not going to work. All right. Is there any way that we can show that these two sides are going to be congruent to each other? I'm not really aware of this. So side angle side is not going to work. All right. Um, but what we do have is either angle side angle. But the problem is angle side angle, the side has to be included between these two. So angle side angle is not going to work because the, the side, these, we'd have to be able to show it would be angle you know, side angle to go through. So really, all we have is angle, angle, side, and HL. Now remember, HL is side, side, angle when you have a 90 degree angle. We don't have a 90 degree angle or a way to show. So we really just need to be able to see, can we prove these two triangles are congruent by angle, angle, angle? So the next thing I can look at is CA, or is um, triangle CAD. So angle CAD is congruent to angle BDA. 
So let's see if we can prove that CAD C A D is congruent to B D A. Well, we can show that those two angles are congruent. The reason why these two angles are congruent is because, do you guys see these parallel lines? Do you guys see these parallel lines? OK. Do you see how these two angles are alternating the line that intersects them, which we call the transversal? And do you see how they're interior of the parallel lines? So we can say that these two angles are congruent by alternate interior angles. All right, so now look at this. We have these two angles are equal. These two, these two angles are equal. These two angles are equal. And this side is equal to this side. Therefore, we have angle, angle, side. So now I can say triangle ACD is congruent to uh, DBA, triangle DBA. Why are they congruent? Because angle, angle, side. Again, if you're going to be proving congruency, I need to see one of your congruency statements. However, that's not the question. The question is saying, prove that the, that red angle is congruent to that red angle. Well, now that we know that these two triangles are congruent, do we know that their corresponding parts are congruent? Yes? Right? So what I can say is angle CDA is congruent to angle BAD because corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent. All right. Every single time you guys are looking at a proof and it says prove the triangles are congruent, this is going to be your last statement. Anytime they're saying, hey, prove that these two angles are congruent, you have to prove your congruency. Then once we prove congruency, we can prove that the angles or whatever sides are congruent based on corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent. Ta-da. Okay. Very good.